are 5,000 limited edition NFTs up for grabs at the French Open, which is currently underway. Each Roland Garros NFT is a unique virtual numbered seed on the Philippe Chartier court and it comes with some rather exclusive perks. Johan Kalpel, VP Chief Marketing Officer at CryptoSlam, a cross-chain NFT data tracker and aggregator, joins in now to talk about this convergence of sport and the world of collectibles on NFT Insider. Great to see you again, Johan. Great to see you too, Mega. We're beginning to see some rather interesting experiences for sports fans, those who mint the French Open NFT could win match tickets for 2023 or one of the 55 physical balls that are being played on the center court. Have you taken a look? I have and this is kind of like a sports fans like fantasy. They're getting involved, they're getting engaged, they're getting uh, the, f the ball of the game. Uh, I could see just so much engagement and so much happiness being brought to fans because of this type of uh, setup with NFTs and uh, it takes it to another level. It gives them something to collect in digital and uh, physical form as well, too. So I, I love it. I love the model. Um, I hope it takes off and I hope it uh, gets some new people into NFTs that didn't think of about them before. Now, eBay has launched its first NFT drop, which is hockey themed, and it comes in different price tiers. But what I find rather interesting is that despite being one of the oldest e-commerce retailers in the world, they don't have the tech know-how to sell it themselves and are using another Web3 marketplace. Your thoughts? Well, the technology to connect to a public uh, blockchain, even a private blockchain, is, is, is getting to know smart contracts very natively. And uh, there are different blockchains out there. I mean, we have 15 plus on our website. And each sometimes the, they all have their different nuance, and I, I don't, I'm not surprised that eBay is having a trouble that uh, with that because um, the code on the back end is uh, it's uh, intensive to crawl and intensive to pull data off the chain. And being a sports fan is also all about being a part of the community, part of a group, and a free-to-play platform called Stakes is giving you a chance to predict what might happen in your next favorite game. And if you are the winner, you can mint that pick as an NFT. Do you see any value in this? Yeah, it sounds like a different uh, uh, model for sports gambling, which has always been successful and always tried. And uh, I feel like that is a winner if it's done well and if it has the right regulatory approval and the compliance uh, uh, on the local jurisdictions. But uh, yes, definitely things that keep people involved and keep people engaged. Sports fans love to bet on the game. It just makes the game like 10 times as interesting when you have some money on there, uh, when you're getting a prize too, especially. So uh, great, great model. And I, I, I hope to see more of these type of things. And uh, yes, definitely it brings value to the fan. Uh, what we're also seeing is like we're seeing esports pick up. So uh, I am a big sports fan. I love baseball, I love base basketball, football, all of those sports. Um, and now we're seeing like uh, esports come into play where uh, we just have different game five, just like um, uh, what we know as like uh, play to earn is kind of evolving now to a different model, engage to earn or just uh, different models of accumulating some sort of value back out of the board. And we're seeing things like that in uh, Wolf Game, uh, Crypto Unicorns, just different projects like that that have different models where the player can play uh, and sit back in our computer and, and participate in a type of sport um, and um, increase engagement that way too as well. Well, it's all about building that community and having that sense of belonging, isn't it, Johan? Thanks as always for joining in. Thanks, Mega, for having me. Have a nice week.